of America. Let's play a clip from my interview with your friend Alex Jones from Monday Night Show. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. What did you make of Mr. Jones's uh, performance on that interview? Well, it seemed that uh, you had improved your demeanor quite a bit from my own experience with you, and I congratulate you for maintaining it during that whole interview. He maintains that the main reason that Americans need to be heavily armed is because of a threat of a tyrannical regime coming from his own American government, your government, uh, against the people. Do you believe that? That's what our founders believed, and that's what's important because that's why we have a Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, as all of our Bill of Rights, all of our Ten Amendments, are designed to limit what the federal government can do. And that includes the Second Amendment, ensuring the right of the people to keep and bear arms. Right, but as you know, the Second Amendment specifically applies to a well-regulated militia. Um, you're going to lose that argument. Increasingly, the courts are agreeing that individuals were to own their own military rifles so that if they were called to duty, they would have that to bring with them. That was the Militia Act of 1796, which required all able-bodied men to own a military rifle so that they would have it at the ready where they called up. How many guns do you want in America, Mr. Pratt? That's not for me to decide. That's for individual Americans to decide. Do you think every American should have an AR-15? Uh, every American should be able to get an AR-15. I understand there are plenty of people that are not going to want that. There are probably people that would rather have a superior firearm. Uh, that's their choice. What are you going to do if President Obama wins his battle and brings in new uh, stricter gun control legislation? Well, he's not going to do it by legislative, in my opinion. What I'm concerned about, and what I've been concerned about since even well before the elections, is having seen the president rule by executive order where he has no authority in other areas, I can see that he would just go ahead, and, and the vice president has even hinted at an executive order that would accomplish some or all of their uh, gun control agenda. That, I think, uh, changes the game and throws into question the legitimacy of the federal government. And I would advise Mr. Obama to consider what happened to George III when he was doing similar things against the American colonists. You're likening President Obama to George III. Well, he ha President Obama hasn't banned the importation of ball and powder yet, which George III did. Uh, but that was one of the major contributory elements to our war for independence. And George III, as you probably know, uh, was so stressed by the loss of his uh, uh, famous uh, favorite colony that he ended his days in a nut house. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. When I talk to you, Mr. Pratt, I always look for some sense of humanity from you in this debate, that you could react to something like the Sandy Hook massacre in the way that I did and many other people did. And I never see it from you. All I see is a very uh, determined attempt to make sure the only outcome is that the gun manufacturers sell more guns and sell more ammunition, as we saw in December, record gun sales, record ammunition sales. Sir, I would ask you, where is the humanity in telling people they must be disarmed, they must be victims, they must just sit there patiently and wait their turn for a bullet? Is that humanity? Where's the humanity in doing nothing after these massacres? The humanity was being able to do nothing during the massacre. That was the lack of humanity, and that's what we're trying to rectify. And you know what? Uh, I know this will come as more lies from Larry Pratt, but it's entirely possible that the House of Representatives will approve a bill by uh, Representative Steve Stockman to do away with the gun-free school zones. And you'd be happy with that if, if every school suddenly had people running around with guns, right? You're a good guesser. Yes, sir. Where are they going to put them? Well, when people carry a concealed firearm, one doesn't exactly know for sure. Uh, and the element of surprise remains with the person carrying concealed, which means that somebody contemplating doing something horrible 
doesn't know which person or persons might be able to arrest him, uh, to, to stop him. And that's why our jurisdictions that have uh, easy access to concealed carry firearms enjoy lower murder rates than, say, the gun control mecca of Chicago, which does better than one murder a day. Well, let me end uh, just by asking you one more question, because I think people watching will be curious. You know, you're a very experienced man in your field. You've run your operation for a long time. People take you seriously. You're a leading member of the gun rights lobby, and people believe what you say. So I'm going to give you one more chance before we finish to say again how many gun murders you believed were in England and Wales in 2011. Um, more important than the number of murders, and, and it doesn't matter how a murder is committed. So I'm not going to uh, really care about well, can you repeat how many the number? Can guns. you repeat the number of gun murders that you said earlier? The data we have seen was 970, but okay. well, that no, 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 pales Mr. into Mr. insignificance Mr. Pratt. Mr. Pratt. compared to your violent crime Mr. rate overall. Mr. The rapes, the muggings, Mr. the Pratt. beatings. Mr. Pratt, stop being sensational. Everyone watching can now get on the internet, they can go on to Google, they can go to the Home Office sites from uh, England and Wales, and they can check that figure for themselves. And when they see the accurate figure of gun murders in my country was 39 in 2011, and they see that the figure in their country was over 11,000, and they remember that your own know. investigature of constabula mm. constabulary said your data okay. are sham. As I say, uh, they can check it for themselves and they can make their own minds up about your credibility. Mr. Pratt, check thank you out the sham for data, my friend. That's great. Okay, you're no friend of mine. Thanks for joining me. Next